Hello everyone, my name is Uthris and welcome back to Bridgehaven where we are working on our wonderful floating islands. So, last episode, I believe we built this wonderful uh, town civic center, town hall-esque building. And it's kind of at the center of the residential district. In between episodes, I have been working on some more housing. Here are some new blocks over here which look fairly nice and you know a little bit more unique looking you know you always want to throw in maybe an, adi an addition on top or on the side just just to keep things looking varied um i'm not using copy and paste on any of these structures these are all hand built so this is taking way longer than i thought it would also in between episodes i built this now i don't really know what it is besides just decoration I wish there was a fountain type block that I could put here, but uh, I figured there would be some some type of centerpiece just for the town citizens to sit around and uh, gather. So that's, that's pretty cool. It's just something a little bit different than normal. Also, if we head over here, you'll notice that I actually connected our wall. So that has been worked on. In fact, if we go inside, what we have is essentially this is a light uh, guard house of some kind. So lower area would be for uh, some type of light armory uh, to keep some storage for the troops that would be patrolling the, the town, keeping it safe. It's more like guards. It could be a guard house, most likely. And then up here, of course, you can fit some beds for your guards and uh, they'll be able to work from this structure fairly well. The upper floor gets uh, just own little balcony and then a battlement down below. So it does connect up rather nicely, I think. If you go over to the alleyway, you can see um, how it kind of overhangs and I'm supporting the structure, of course. And so, yeah, it looks really good. This episode, we're gonna be working over here as I need to fill in this area and then also at some point I need to fill in this corner maybe start working on this outer wall man there's just so much to do and just not enough time in the day for me to do it I've been I've been at this for a couple hours already today and you know when I get home from work it, it, it can be a little bit of a drain but hey that's what I'm here for you guys want some buildings I'll give you some buildings so what we're building over here is going to be the town courier and basically their job is to accept mail and distribute the mail or packages light packages essentially it's, it's a similar role to our depot that's all the way out there i mean like way way out there so essentially it's kind of like a a lighter second depot inside the city itself um distribution centers for something this large is going to be something very important we're gonna go ahead and get started now I don't know how I want to do this really I'm gonna look go ahead and look at kind of the angles of the buildings here to try and decide kind of what access access to uh, put the spine I'm thinking going this way uh, at least for this back corner we can do an L shape here and then an opposite L shape going the other way that might end up being the best way to do things so let's go ahead and get started now what I'm gonna do is throw some floor down first it's been a while since we've just kind of done a building from complete scratch as uh, lately kind of the first set of walls are generally built before I start recording and the nice thing about this is this alleyway will look very tight and closed in. Sure, it's missing some railings on some of these porches, but you guys can see this courtyard is actually one of my favorites right now, just from all the detail that we were able to fit in here. This game, it, it's so beautiful, and even with such a limited block selection that we do have, um, it's amazing on just the variation of shapes that we can do. All right, now, kind of need 
an access point for some small carts. So I'm thinking, I'm gonna put a door here. And we'll go three wide, or long in this case, not wide. This will be kind of the uh, loading, unloading zone for distribution into the city. And there'll be some storage spots around. Let's go ahead and grab our doorways here. Yeah, we can, we can put some windows. I don't want a whole lot on this thing as, you know, it's not very secure if you have a lot of windows. All right. Oop. Just click, but it's okay. You can just hold Alt here and delete that. So this is kind of the depot uh, for our smaller carts. And in fact, if we head and just throw up a light roof line maybe all right tell you what we'll, we'll put a wooden window here just something a little bit different it's always good to mix and match textures on things and colors because you don't want the gray wall to just overtake the whole structure now I don't want those perfect angles for the top we can actually do this kind of crenellation thing it'll make it look probably a little bit more unique and a little bit more like a barn which I'm fine with Right, that looks okay and then over here maybe some type of office setup so we can put a window there let's go ahead and just do two here so this might be the logistics side of the operation So this would be like checking and um, maybe some light storage. Now we're kind of left with this L shape, which is going to be the main storage area. Think about making a wider door here just so we can get packages in and out. It's probably for the best. Just something a little bit wider in case you're carrying something uh, that might bump the wall and break it. You just never know with this kind of stuff. So over here, what I want is another large kind of bay door. And what we'll end up doing with this is maybe we'll put a small kind of light airship dock out here. We can kind of fill in some stonework and make a docking pad just for the mail. Uh, so this is the outgoing, ingoing kind of slot. So that might be something cool to do. I'm gonna extend this down. I need to put the crenellation. Cause I always do like to leave kind of the wooden support showing in areas. I just always thought it looks nice to do so. So let's go ahead and throw this down. Now I might end up getting covered up by the dock here, but that's okay. So. Yeah, not bad. And see the main storage area I guess just to make it identical well I 
could make this uh, a bay of some kind as well. It's funny when when, I, when I'm thinking about these type of structures, it's very much a little bit in the mindset of space engineers, you know, bays for your ships or uh, vehicles that you're going to be using. But there is an, a good purpose to to having kind of larger areas designated here and there. Here we can just kind of throw in window, window, window. All the windows are being laid down. All right. So these are our high points, and then can. Something like this, I guess. Hey, we'll leave that open. I, I don't do that very often because it's quite a sharp transition. But maybe instead of a pillar, we can do one of these. No. That doesn't look right. I guess the pillar is probably the best, after all. Oops. No! Ugh. Whoa, okay, there's some lag. Okay, and now, I guess we gotta slap a roof on it. We can even put some catwalks inside of it, maybe even a basement at some point. I just have to kind of find our roof line here. Hmm. You know, that looks weird. I'm just gonna get rid of this little odd section. Come on, let me see that section. There we go. Maybe, maybe we can throw a nice angled section. No, that looks weird. How about a curve? Curve doesn't look too bad. No, I may want to curve it the other way though. Oops, wrong block. Solid block might actually be best. In fact, making this whole section solid and then just moving the stairs. I don't know why I didn't just think of that first, but uh, oh well. flush so things fit together a little bit more nice and clean then at this point we need to come up with a way these buildings are going to fit together especially roof line wise something like this generally carrying the, the main spine of the building all the way down is the best for uh, doing roofing and things like that yeah let, let's do a little bit something different here so if I'm able to angle this right 
just make this nice and flush to the end. And then just walk it up. Let's go ahead and put a roof here just so I know when to stop. Hmm. Okay. So let's try and get an actual custom transition here built. Doing these can be pretty fun. You're, you're breaking up the monotony of construction, which is always nice. So if I carry another window over, it'll look a little bit more like a barn or something with just a more gentle roof slope on it. The center area will still be uh, tall and nice, and nice and tall. And then we have just this nice little area around it so we're already at like 16 minutes or so i'm gonna go ahead and finish up this structure and then you guys can let me know what you think all right everyone so this is kind of the finished warehouse area so yeah not a whole lot of going going on inside unlike the one back out in the main gate area uh, I'm, I'm a little hesitant to actually put shelving and a whole bunch of crates and things in here just yet. Uh, again, that's just kind of coming down to lag. Uh, the loading time that I have to get into the save is, oh, say, pretty sure it's like five minutes. It takes me five minutes to load up this world right now. And then once we start getting on to the other four large islands, I have a feeling it's easily going to be like a 10 minute low time so obviously I was just trying to find something to fit this shape and to seal this off rather nicely and the windmill blades I think work best out here this area it's a little bit weak just because of how much brown and gray there is I might go and try to add this effect on all of this area back here just to give it some variety and a little bit more color to it. So that's something I'm probably going to have to do. It's just, yeah. Yeah, that, that's pretty much what I'm gonna have to do with that. But out here, I went ahead and laid out some foundation for how I want this airship kind of area to look. As you can see, it's gonna be kind of a tiered dock system, which would be pretty cool. Now, I don't know how wide I want this to go out, as that is, uh, it's just probably something we're going to figure out as we go. So, as you can see, I can easily just extend this outwards, and then we'll put the actual kind of docking mechanism over here facing, facing this way. It'll probably be about right here height wise and so you know the, the small uh, courier ships can land there and unload so that'll look pretty cool and hopefully I'll be able to tie it into the wall well enough and, and make it look a little bit more fancy than it is now but I think that's gonna do me for this episode thank you guys so much for watching as always if you guys are enjoying the content feel free to subscribe to my channel for more gaming goodness go ahead and check out the playlist for other builds such as this and uh, leave a comment leave a like let me, got, let me know what you want to see next, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.